If you guys are like me, you like to hold on to all your bottles and old containers in hopes that you'll use them one day for something else. Right now, my wine bottles and other bottles are just sitting on the windowsill. I wanted to get them out of the way, but I'm going to show you what you can make with them. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need however many wine bottles you would like. You're going to need some dish detergent and something scrubby. I ended up using some soap pads, as you see here later on in the video. Those are a lot more durable. And you're going to need some chalkboard paint. I found this for $10 at Walmart. And you'll need some painter's tape, a sponge brush. Um, the blow dryer is optional. It makes it much quicker, though. And you're going to need bubbles or whatever bath items you would like. And then, of course, some chalk. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the labels from all the bottles. Go ahead and turn your sink on as high as the water goes, well as hot as it goes. And once it's nice and hot, put the stopper in the bottom of the sink. And then go ahead and add some dish detergent. This is going to help remove the stickers and labels from the bottles and help break up that glue a bit. Once your sink is all filled up, make sure you remove those corks if you had stuck them back in the bottles for some reason. Then fill the bottles up with water. This is going to help the bottles sink down to the bottom of the sink and make sure they're fully emerged in that hot soapy water. Go ahead and let the bottles sit for about 10 minutes and once that's passed, just Carefully pick up the bottles out from the sink. The water is very hot. I kind of burned my hand. And just take your scrubby and start scrubbing off some of that excess sticky stuff. If you can, go ahead and try to take off the labels before you sink them in the water. And this will help break up the glue a lot more quickly. I quickly realized that these labels, for some reason, were a lot harder to take off than labels on other bottles that I used for a previous project. So I went ahead and submerged them in the hot soapy water again and left them for about 10 more minutes. While I was waiting, I found these soap pads or Brillo pads, you know, the still wool with the soap in it, under my sink, so I thought I would give those a try. All you have to do is turn your water on and hold them under there for a few seconds and then just scrub away. I immediately saw a much better reaction than the cloth I was using before. Just go ahead and rinse off your bottle and set it aside. Yay, it worked! Once your bottles have dried, you can go ahead and start selecting the design you want on your bottle. Here I have a Wet n Wild eyeliner pencil and I'm using the painter's tape to create a circle design on the bottle. All I did was lay the tape flat on one side and then slowly rolled it just to, yeah, do you guys know what I mean? I don't know how to explain it, but you see what I did. Then I just went in and filled in some lines and perfected some of the imperfections because I guess I'm just not good at tracing. Next, I took tiny pieces of tape and slowly outlined the circle we just created. It's going to be better using smaller pieces rather than larger pieces because you'll get more of a round shape. Once you have your design all laid out, then you can go ahead and start painting. Start off with a very thin layer. I just kind of globbed it on there and then spread it out to give us a good base to work with. Next, just pick up your blow dryer and turn it on to the highest heat and as high as it goes, and then just use that to dry the paint. It 
it dries very quickly and what you want to do is take the hot heat and put it onto the cool air to help cool down the paint. Then just repeat the process until you achieve the desired look. Now all that's left to do is wait. I waited for, I would say, about an hour just to make sure the paint had dried. After the paint has dried, just go ahead and carefully pull off that tape. If you don't have a funnel, you can use some paper like I'm doing here. And then just use it to put the bath products into the bottles. All that's left is to decorate your labels and your bath bottles are all done. You've officially used those old wine bottles. Go ahead and treat yourself and take a nice bubble bath, light a candle, and relax.